Welcome. I am Alan Cross, the Grand Master of Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of British Columbia and Yukon, the governing body of all Freemasons and Masonic lodges within our jurisdiction. We have made the following 20-minute story to help you gain a better understanding of Freemasons. Our DVD also features personal stories of gentlemen who have started their Masonic journey. Their individual reasons for joining may help you better understand if Freemasonry is for you, but in the end, you decide. What kind of got me into it was the fact that the, the more people I met that were, that I didn't really know they were Freemasons but ended up being Freemasons all turned out to be people that I, that I looked up to or that um, for some weird reason I was, I was drawn towards. I'd always been interested in Freemasonry. My family had been involved in Freemasonry uh, and I'd always been interested. I had been thinking about it for uh, several years. Our family has a very long association with the Freemasons, uh, going back nearly a hundred years. So going back to father, grandfather, great-grandfather. When I was in my early 30s, I, uh, I was doing well. I, I was uh, successful in, in, uh, in the business that I was in. Um, I'd uh, traveled the world and uh, I had all these th good things going for me. And I had a strong marriage and uh, I was uh, happy about a lot of things, but I felt that there was an element of something that was kind of missing. I was randomly reading about it at a, a job that I had at the Fairmont Empress and uh, a gentleman saw me reading about it and he, and he asked me, well, are you interested in Freemasonry? And I, I said, yeah, I've been for years. He said, well, have you ever you know, asked to join. I said, well, no, I, I don't know the procedure on it. And he says, well, you know, if you, if you ask somebody who's a mason, um, you know, then the ball kind of gets to start rolling. And uh, I said, well, how do you know about this? He says, well, I'm actually a Freemason. I, I had a sense after starting to investigate what, what Freemasonry is about that maybe there was an answer there that by virtue of a combination of um, the, uh, the fraternity that it represented and uh, the, the traditions that Freemasonry is about and the, um, the, the search for, um, for establishing a stronger moral character were all things that maybe would, uh, would uh, make me feel a little bit more fulfilled about my life and about uh, the direction that I was taking. I got to meet Freemasons and talk to them and I found out that a lot of things said about them is not the truth and I was very impressed with the men I met. They became very good friends of mine and they're still very good friends of mine. I, I, I read a few books on the subject and uh, I went to the, uh, the, uh, the organization's local website and uh, on the internet and uh, read a little bit more there and found some contact information. I contacted a couple of the brethren in the lodge locally and they took some time to, to meet with me and talk to me about what Freemasonry is about. So uh, with discussions through the years with, with my granddad and my dad, had been thinking about it and there was always something in the way, there was university or studies or a, a new job and, and so finally by, by 2007 I, I felt like it was a good time to, to uh, petition for, for entrance. So I talked to the men I knew and I asked them questions and one day one of the gentlemen who had been questioning and, and uh, about Freemasonry came to me with a petition and he said, you know, I think it's time that you joined. And I had read a lot about Freemasonry. I just investigated everything I could find. I read everything for it and against it. And I agreed with him. After getting involved in the craft, I found that, uh, that really that was, uh, that, 
that those things, those things, uh, that Freemasonry delivered on those things, and, and I felt more fulfilled as an individual, and uh, and I continue to do so. So it was, it was me searching out the B one, and then it turned out to be a random um, coincidence that I worked with somebody that was, and that kind of started the, the journey. The Masonic family to me means real friendship. And I think one of the most important things for me about the Masonic family has been just that, that I can come and relax, that I can meet with friends and have a good time, enjoy myself, and uh, get away from the cares of the world. It's somewhere where I can be open, uh, honest, and, and feel like they are uh, one, one of my family. Um, you know, the term being a brother is, is often mentioned, but uh, the more and more you, you go to meetings, the more and more you meet all the different people um, from all walks of life, you actually feel that they are, uh, they are your brother. really uh, interesting and gratifying to see all of those different people, as I say, under one roof, uh, working together and, and, uh, and sort of dedicating themselves to uh, Masonic ideals. I don't think you could find a better class of men anywhere. They're truly an impressive group of men. They work together, they have fun together, and any one of them you would be proud to have as your friend. One uh, district deputy once said that you should be able to walk into a lodge and talk to any member of the lodge and tell them your innermost secret and know that it would stop there. People who read about Freemasonry or go on the internet and look up the secrets to Freemasonry and I tell them you could memorize all the secrets and you could read all the books but you'll never know Freemasonry because what goes on in Freemasonry, the bond between us, the friendship, that quality of people, just everything that goes on can't be put down on paper. I don't even know if it can be properly explained. Uh, my words, I think, far fall short of the bond that you have when you're a Freemason. There is so much going on in the outside world. Uh, inside uh, the world of Freemasonry, I think time slows down. And you can just think about the job and the task of being a better person, which is really what we're for. Uh, listening to others and listening to how they're working and, and helping each other and supporting each other as we can. All of that is, is most important, I think, for the, for the Mason. So yeah, we leave the outside world outside once that door of the lodge is closed.
there are a large number of symbols that we use. Those symbols help us to understand the messages in a simpler manner. But the other intention is to try and make ourselves better and better each day. And those tools and seeing those, those symbols helps remind us, oh yeah, that's what we're all about. That's what we have to try and strive towards. So the lesson for each of those symbols is very significant for us in the end. So the fact that Freemasonry actually does have things that are tangible, you touch, you feel, and you see every time you go into a lodge, makes, I think, the lessons more indelible in somebody's mind. We're a school of knowledge and a school of learning. And so allegorically, yeah, those symbols are very important for us. You have to be personally involved to really get the message of Freemasonry. An application and, and receiving the three degrees of Freemasonry are very important to you really understanding true Freemasonry. The festive board is uh, kind of the, the open part of our meeting in the sense that we get together and, and, uh, and uh, we have uh, free discussion and we have a meal together. Once a year, of course, uh, we do uh, Robbie Burns Day and, uh, and uh, at the festive board we have haggis and we uh, we uh, pay. Uh, we usually have a toast to the haggis in, in Scots, and so that's a, that's a spectacular uh, experience. Uh, we have the piper come out as well, and that's second to none. I mean, no, I, I've never seen it done the way that, that we we do it as a lodge. The connection that I feel uh, has more to do with what those early Freemasons did to change the world. In other words, they, they came up with a remarkable concept and they took that concept out into the world and they made it work. And one can't help but feel a connection to their vision, which was at that time in a world where there was a tremendous amount of inequity and injustice between the classes etc that a group of men got together and said there is a better way there is a better way to treat all mankind equally and looks let's look at ways in which we can do that and for me that concept uh, is a connection Within the walls of a lodge, we get away from the concerns of the workaday world and we're able to enjoy each other's company and the purity of Freemasonry. And there's a very good reason why religion and politics and the like are not a part of our lodge meetings, because we know they're divisive. And I think it's important to say and remind people that Freemasonry as a body, has no opinion on anything social or political in our world.
because I think as Freemasons we know that if the body as a whole had an opinion, that the moment it did that, it would cause a division in the lodge. And Freemasonry is about harmony. We unite, we do not divide. We build bridges, not walls. Someone should become a Freemason if they're looking at improving themselves. If they're looking at having some real friendship, really good friends, friends that you can depend on no matter what. Uh, when my mother took ill, she was very, very ill for about 10 years, and yet um, Freemasons would come, they'd cut my lawn, they'd come and help take care of her, their wives would come and help. Um, those are important things that people are there for you. One of the interesting things I think about Freemasonry when people ask you, well, what's it all about? If you ask two or three Masons, you're going to get two or three very different opinions. So it's always interesting to me to be exposed to, particularly some of the older uh, fellows in the lodge who have been here. In our case, we have uh, one gentleman who's into his 90s and has been a Mason uh, over 60 years. So fascinating guy to talk to and, of course, has a very interesting perspective on Freemasonry. You see, um, what I've found is this, that if a person is interested, they're going to be asking questions. And when they ask questions, I can give them a pamphlet that's called The Seeker, where we can read it, and then we can discuss that together afterwards as to what it really means. And that, that happens actually happened to me with one of our new candidates, where we discuss the, the, the Seeker, and. Um, spoke about what a mason is, and he's now a member. No matter where you are in the world, being a fraternity that spans the globe, uh, you'll, you'll meet people from all, all walks of life. Even if it takes sending an email to a, a local uh, lodge or a, you know, a grand lodge, um, or asking somebody that you, you know, see me with the Masonic ring on, um, because when you ask that question, I, I, no matter who it is and what lodge they come from, they definitely would embrace, embrace that. My biggest regret is that I didn't get started earlier. I've uh, been at it 20 years now and uh, I am going on 67. I wish I would have, I wish I would have been in my uh, 40th year instead of my 20th year of being uh, a Mason. Why should somebody join? I think really, again, I go back to fellowship. I said that it's a fraternity and it's a support. It's a way of uh, helping you see life, uh, helping you to get a, a, a more rounded understanding of life. We're not allowed to tell people what it's all about. You have to find out. But uh, in 99% of the, of, of the cases, uh, people will love to take, get that third degree and get that certificate and then go down to the framing shop and get it framed and hang it on the wall and be proud of it.